It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Everything in our world has been reversed and perversed. If you have ever said a prayer or asked God for help, you have unknowingly worshipped Satan, the Dark One. Without knowing it, you have been praying to the Father of Lies himself. And I know his name. His true name. There are two groups of people that know the truth about religion in our modern world. The first group are the satanic elite, the infamous Illuminati. The second group are the truly devout Bible scholars. By this, I am referring to the mysterious magi who even in these modern times study and hold ancient knowledge sacred. And of course, we can't forget about the highly secretive rabbis of the Jewish Kabbalah. But they also fit into the first group. What is the ancient knowledge that these groups know and keep from the rest of the world? It is the knowledge of God's true name and the knowledge of Satan's true name. And I'm going to tell you both of those names in this video. First, let's talk about who Satan truly is. Satan first appeared in the Bible as a serpent to tempt Eve. Satan has never been a devil with horns. He has never been the hairy hooved beast that the modern world depicted him as. He has always been a fallen angel and the deceiver of the whole world. The book of John goes so far as to say that he is the ruler of this world. John 16, 11. Satan has never been his name. Satan is just a title. The name has purposely been hidden from us. Hidden from the world so that we will be deceived, so that he can rule in secret, growing stronger while gaining more and more unknowing followers. And thanks to the King James Version of the Bible, half of the world thinks that Satan's name is Lucifer. But that was a mistranslation. Isaiah 14.12 says, Lucifer, son of the morning. This is the direct error, because the original Hermaic Hebrew says, Helael, not Lucifer. And Helael means crescent moon. But this is not Satan's name either. And where the King James Bible says, Son of the Morning, in Hermaic Hebrew, it actually says, Bain Yalau, which means Son of the Howling, Yelling, Boisterous One. Satan has left many different descriptions of himself throughout the Bible. And even worse, he went as far as to have the true name of the Father and the Son removed completely. Do you remember the word Lord in the Bible? Have you ever prayed to the Lord? If you have, I regret to inform you that you have prayed to the fallen angel Baal, because Lord is his name, Lord Baal. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 26 to 27, Fathers forgot my name for Baal. Make sense? Baal was the supreme god worshipped in ancient canon. The Canaanites worshipped Baal as the sun god and referred to him as Lord Baal. Baal worship promoted prostitution in religious temples and human sacrifice. This was long before Jesus ever walked the earth. Baal is usually seen as a goat-headed demon holding a baby. Here's a bonus fact. The Christmas Eulog is a carryover that represents the sacrificing of babies by fire to Tamaz. There is only one book that calls Satan by his true name. A book that was divinely inspired and found with the Dead Sea Scrolls, a book that was banned from the Bible, the Book of Enoch. There are many, many reasons that the Book of Enoch was removed from the Bible, but the biggest reason is because it contains Satan's true name. In the modern Bible, the Book of Jude, chapter 14, verse 15, directly mentions the Book of Enoch. It shows you that the book of Enoch used to be part of the Bible, 
before the evil people of this world twisted the truth and hid the name of Satan from the misguided religions of modern times. In the book of Enoch, Satan's true name is revealed. The one who led Eve astray, the serpent himself, Gadrael. In short, he was just called Gad, which in English is pronounced God. Gadrael, the name of Satan, is Gadrael. And the book of Enoch, chapter 48, verse 6, is the only place that the name of Satan has ever been recorded. And that's because the book of Enoch had been hidden throughout time with the Dead Sea Scrolls in a cave. A cave where a true follower hid it to protect the secret knowledge that was being erased from the face of the earth by Gadriel and his followers. Have you ever prayed to God or asked God your Lord to help you, to guide you, then wondered why your prayers were not answered? Or maybe the opposite of what you prayed is what happened? It's because when you call out the Lord or God, you are actually calling out and praying to Lord Baal and Gadrael, the fallen angel, who brought death to mankind when he, the serpent, tempted Eve in the Garden of Eden. So if God is actually the short version of Gadrael in English, and Lord is actually the short version of Lord Baal in English, who should you be praying to? The simple answer is Father, your true Father, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So next time you pray, ask your Father in heaven to forgive you for not knowing his name. God is short for Gadriel, Satan's true name. The elite groups in this world know Satan's name, and they know God's name, and they take great pride in the fact that the religions all over the world have been deceived into worshiping their sacred fallen angel Gadriel and their baby-sacrificing demon Lord Baal. There's a great power in words. Words are the most powerful force available to humanity. We can choose to use this force constructively or destructively. Words have energy and power with the ability to help, to heal, to hinder, to hurt, to harm, or to humiliate and humble. Make sure you understand the words that you're using and what they actually mean. It's time to wake up and take our countries back, our world back, our government back, our religion back. It's time to be human again and connect and get rid of all the negative forces that are trying to destroy mankind, that are trying to enslave the normal people. It's time to wake up, everybody. It's time to wake up. John X Army, signing out from the belly of the beast.